we're going to talk about the library database. I'm going to step you through it. And then the visual guide that you hopefully were able to download will show you exactly the steps that I am showing you here. From the home page, you go ahead and you click libraries. This is our library homepage. I want to point out that there is a search box right here, right in front of your face. This search box is set up for searching the NMSU system catalog, the books, the videos, including articles and databases and journals and things like that. But it searches everything. You'll get stuff from grants and Alma Gordo and NMSU main campus. And much of the stuff that you get, you probably won't be able to access. This is not the place, especially if you already know which databases you should be searching to start with. It's good if you wanted to browse what was going on, but if you've got a targeted search, a topic you want to start with, there are better resources out there, our databases, that will help you do your searching more effectively, more efficiently, save you time and frustration. So to get to those, you're going to click on the databases and you can go to all databases, which will give a list of the databases we have, but there are only three we're going to explore today. And they're also listed in the strategies and resources handout, as well as the visual handout, the steps. We're going to start with CQ Researcher, if you are off campus, you are going to get this. I want to point out that this part here should always be just the first part of your NMSU email. Don't put the entire email, otherwise it'll give you an error message. And then this down here is your 17-digit passphrase. It is called Opposing Viewpoint. This product is from one of our two major vendors, Gale. It's got a list of hot topics on the top a few of them. Then it has a list of categories. It tells you if something has been updated. I'm going to go ahead and energy and environmentalism, climate control. I could also do a search up here in the search box. Global warming and climate change. It has an overview. The only thing with this particular database and the next one I'm going to show you is that they are not encapsulated into one report that you can download all at once. It tells you there are viewpoints, which is the pros and cons. There are actually 510 of them. They feature 16 right here on the front. It's got journals, website, newspaper articles, infographics, images, magazines, videos, audios. Those are like podcasts and recordings. So there is a lot of information here. This probably is way too much. You would need to narrow your topic. Electric cars and search within and it will give me a lot less. I went from an awful lot of stuff to only this small amount. From here, you can also filter it by date. You can search for additional keywords within it and things like that. Structural change. This is done and you can see the date it was done. This one is 2017, so it's a little bit older. I can click on this. It will give me pro con. This is a commentary, so it's someone's opinion. Talks about the question it is going to address. It has a lot of information. There's no references at the bottom because it's someone's opinion. If you want to email it to yourself, you can send to, you can download it, print it, and save it as a PDF. That is the easiest thing to do. Email here. It puts the title of what you're doing. And you always want to make sure it defaults to full text because you want everything you're reading sent to you. On the right-hand side, it's got our articles that things that are related to what is being discussed in this particular article. Subjects here, climate change, corporate social responsibility, if that's the direction you want to go, as opposed to personal responsibility. And then within the article itself, you'll see that there are underlying phrases and keywords. You click on those, it will give you articles for reading that it recommends based upon that particular keyword or phrase or where this has been mentioned in. You're going to have all of this general stuff every single time. So let's go back to look at one other newspaper article, let's say. And you can sort by newest date if you want to or relevance. Here's one, September 22nd, just last month. Click on that. It's from the New York Times. It tells you who the authors are, the date, where it came from. You'll go through here. You'll see more like this. 
these are a lot more current than the last one we were looking for. And then related subjects and the same thing up above, the citation, the email it to yourself, the download it or the printing it as a PDF.